Hello, Hello friends. friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest with me. I have Angela. Hello. And we're doing something that I've been thinking about for a while, so I think we're both really excited. So in today's video, we are going to be making DIY twinkle toes. And the reason I thought of this idea was because I was going through my basement and I found this which is actually a pair of my old twinkle toes I had when I was like 12, 8? I don't know how old I was. But the fun thing about these is they still light up. There it goes. And as you can tell, they're very dirty because I love them a lot and I wore them a lot. But anyway, I was thinking about it and I was like, twinkle toes are really cool, right? So I looked it up and they don't make them in adult sizes. So then I was like, if they don't make them, we're just gonna have to make them ourselves. So today we're going to be using some old Converse we have because I think these look pretty similar to Converse in like the style besides all the glitter and stuff. So these, however dirty they may be, these are the blueprint, an ancient artifact that we're studying. <laughs> Frame it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I think without further ado, let's just get started. Woohoo! So it's actually the day before, so if I look any different right now, that's why, but this is just the day before Ange actually came over because I have one step that I'd like to do before she comes over, and that step is painting my shoes. These are the shoes that I'm going to be making into twinkle toes, um, and as you can see, regular Converse usually have white here and like white on the sides, but these ones don't, so that's the part I'm going to be painting. And also there's like gold grommets on these, which I don't like. I'm going to make them black. I need to paint them now because they need to be dry when Angela comes over in about 24 hours. So that's how come I look different right now. Nothing crazy. And I think I'm going to start out by painting the grommets. I am just going to be using some black acrylic paint. Um, I mean, I hope it works on this. Acrylic paint seems to work for pretty much everything. Finished with the grommets and they actually came out pretty well, I think. I put two coats of paint on and then three coats on any area that seemed like it needed it. I made a big mess. I have paint all over my hands and I actually got paint on my face somehow, but hopefully it's gone. So now I'm going to start with painting like the rubber and the sides just with some white acrylic paint. Finally finished painting. It took me not too long and so for the white part I did four coats and for the black I did around three coats and it turned out better than I thought it would actually. I'm worried the paint might scratch or flake off so for that I have this acrylic sealer gloss finish and hopefully this will make it so that it does not scratch off, the paint won't come off. And one important thing to remember when you're using this product is make sure you're in a well ventilated area. So right after I use this, I'm going to put my fan on and I will open the window because it's dangerous to inhale these fumes. So if you're using this, just be careful with that. And honestly, the best place to use it is outside, but I'm going to do it in here. So I don't know if you guys can hear it, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but I actually have the fan on and the window open right now. And I'm leaving those on because I did just spray this chemical inside, but with the windows open and the fan on, it's all good. So this is what the shoes came out like. But I think the sealer should work. So I'm just going to leave them here to dry and I will see you guys tomorrow. And when I'm here, I will be with Angela. She'll be right here. Okay, so these are the shoes we're working with today. You guys have actually already seen mine with the paint and everything, but these are Angela's. 
They're very nice actually, and she didn't even have to paint hers. <laughs> but I think the first thing that we're gonna do, I've already done it, is just take out the shoelaces. These are cute. Thank you. Freshman me really had a. I never style. had high tops. It's my first time. I don't. I like the low tops better still. But Did they like good. feel weird on your ankle or anything? Yeah, sometimes they like rubbed. Oh. It's kind of weird, but it's all right. Why is? Why am I getting confused? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Our shoes are yeah. laceless. Laceless. As you guys can see, we have lots of supplies out. And yeah. we even have a hot glue gun heating up that Ange is going to use really soon. What are you going to start with? Uh, I think I'm going to start by putting these fun glam it up sequins on the toe. Yeah, the toe. Oh, they are called the twinkle toes. Aha, uh -huh, that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm going to start by taking, we have some nice glitter tape. I don't know what color yet, but I'm just going to put it like on the tongue here. You'll, you'll see. It'll just yeah, fine. It'll make sense. Um, so we can just start. 25 piece glue sticks. I hope we don't need that many. <laughs> that would not be good. We've both finished one area, so please. Okay, so I only did one toe because it took literally forever, but I it, it looks so good. I twinkled it. It looks so it's good. Twinkly now. Um, it was worth it. There's a lot of hot glue on it, so I think I'll peel it off after it dries. It looks really good though. Do the other one. We don't have to think about that right now. <laughs> it looks so good. I put the tape on the tongue of the shoe. Here's what one of them looks like. It it's gonna look better because the shoelaces will be over it. This one is a lot messier than this one, but that's what it looks like. It, it'll look better soon. We got these like s patches, right? They're smiley yeah. face like patches, and I since I have the high tops, I have that part. So I think I'm just gonna put it over so I can be here. We're back after much hard work. And, and one burn, but it's okay. Oh no. Basically what I've been doing is putting the sequins it's on so here. glittery. And as you can see, I got mediumly far, but I want to do this on the entire shoe. And then I also have the whole other shoe to do. So that'll be fun. Yeah, I put the, as you saw, I put the patches on the inside of. They're so pretty. Both of them. And then I just finished twinkling both toes because that took literally forever i'm just gonna keep on putting these sequins on and then i was thinking if she's done first i will just finish mine on my own so you'll just see me finish it and she won't be here but then we'll come back together when our shoes are all complete are and so we'll have <laughs> probably because they're high tops uh. we'll come back together once we're all done and we'll have a fun friend modeling montage yay it's been really long and i'm not close to being done so i don't want her to like sit through hours <laughs> So I'm just going to keep on gluing. Okay guys, so I actually just finished one out of technically four sides of all the sequins. It looks like this. Very cool. I like how it looks, but and now like, I it's like do it. blue and then it's like purple. Yeah, it's like it's cool. iridescent, but then I gotta do it all on this side and all over on this shoe, which I will do when Angela is not around because she does not need to screw <laughs> all of that. So the next time you see me, I'll probably be alone, but do not fret. Angela I'm, is fine. Okay. She's fine. And you'll see her soon anyway for the grand reveal. So the next day. So I am back, ready to finish my shoes, and of course Angela's not with here right now, but don't worry, she's okay, I'm just gonna finish these shoes. I finished putting the sequins on the shoes, so this is what it looks like. I did the whole thing. It looks really cool on camera. Not one, but both shoes done. Um, this took a really long time, I don't know how many hours, but I think it was worth it. So now all I have to do is I want to put this 
the tape that's on here, I want to put a little bit on the back here with hot glue. And then I need to, as Angela would say, I need to twinkle the toes. So I'm going to use, I just dropped the rhinestones. But I'm going to use those rhinestones and on the toes like Angela did. So that's the only things I need to do. I'm also going to test out this Mod Podge. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm testing this out to on a little piece of the shoe to see if it will seal it well. Um, and if it does, then I'll put them all over the sequence so they don't fall off. I've never used this before, so I have no idea what it looks like. I finished twinkling one toe. This is how it turned out. I'm honestly not thrilled with it. It's okay, it's not. I wish I had done it a little bit different. So I'm gonna do this other one a little bit differently, but I'll show you guys how it turns out. So much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe it really helps me out and i appreciate it so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye